I think every quarterback, you know, just has to be whoever they are. And, and uh, you know, there's a lot of scrutiny that comes with the position. I, I thought there was a lot of scrutiny when I was playing, but uh, it's, uh, you know, increased dramatically in the last 12 years that I've been away from the game. And, you know, everybody has an opinion, not that they didn't before, but now they have a, a platform with social networking in order to, to voice that. And so I see the media now kind of taking some of the things that they see in social media and using that to write articles. And, and so uh, you've got to be real careful. I, I think that from a fan's perspective, all we basically see is what we see then on TV. And what we saw of last week's game and Jay Cutler certainly you know, didn't look very good. And he's been a guy who's been a very polarizing figure based on his body language and and I think as a quarterback, as someone who played, you've got to be real careful when you're judging a player strictly on body language, and yet that's all we have to go off of. You know, I don't know what Jay Cutler's relationships are within the locker room, uh, whether they're good, whether they're bad, whether anybody really cares as far as how he, you know, presents himself. Uh, I, I don't know, but I, but I know the the confrontation or what we saw in that Packers game. Uh, did not look very good. My guess is is that uh, it rubbed some of the teammates in the wrong way. I also know that as a quarterback, uh, I, I use my own experience and experiences in that regard. And, and there were times when when I would have to be tough, uh, you know, on a player, on a teammate, and it wasn't always easy to do. But I think that as the quarterback and as the leader of a team, sometimes you sometimes you have to. Uh, take necessary steps and but but I think when you do it's important then to come back off of that uh, and make sure the guys in the locker room know that you're with them and uh, and that's the the best way to go about it because what happens for the quarterback is is one he's the highest paid guy on the team Uh, generally speaking the other guys in the locker room feel that everything comes relatively easy for that guy because he doesn't have to fight for his contract that uh, he tends to get coddled by the organization, by the coaches. And when that's the perception, uh, not that it's the wrong perception from the players, then I think the quarterback has to go out of his way to make sure that the players, those other 52 guys in that room, uh, know that he's aligned with them. And if they feel that way, then I think you have a harmonious locker room. If they don't, then there's uh, usually uh, some difficult times that lay ahead for that particular team, particularly in difficult times when a team is struggling.